Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be my candle collection. So I'm gonna run through kind of everywhere that I have my candles stored, what that looks like, and then run through all of my candles. So this might take a minute. I have 40 something candles. So it's kind of a lot, but I really wanted to document where I'm at at the beginning of 2021 so I can have this video to look back on and also so you guys can kind of get a glimpse into what I'm burning, what's in my collection and all that kind of stuff. So if you guys are excited to see this video, then just keep watching. Okay, so just an overview. This is where most of my candles are and this is my nightstand right next to my bed. This is the side that I sleep on um, and this is like kind of Usually the candle that I'm focusing on is up here. This is Goose Creek White Icing Cinnamon Roll. And then usually the first drawer is everything that I'm working on finishing right now. So this is all of my um, Project Wax candles. And so there's 10 of these. Well, there's nine right here and this is the 10th one up here. And then we've got the second drawer, which I've kind of labeled these as saving for fall or winter. And then these ones right here in the last drawer are kind of not really seasonal at all, just kind of like bakery or to burn whenever. So these are like next picks to burn once I run out of all of these 10 that are in here. So this is just kind of general and overview. And then I have the ones that didn't fit in there. Ooh, don't mind my mess in my Alex nine drawer. And I believe it's this, yeah, this drawer holds those guys. So I haven't burned these yet. Um, most of them. I think I've burned this one. Yeah. Um, and of course I've burned this one back here, but these are like spring slash summer, um, and some single wicks. And these are all ones that I haven't burned. So if, well, most of them, if I want to um, do an exchange, then I can use these. So that's why they're over here, separate from the other ones. And then I have one in my new little shelving unit up here. I've just kind of like, this is not maybe how it will be permanently, but this is kind of the, the vibe I was going for, like perfumes and then my prettiest packaging. So I have just strawberry pound cake up here. So I'm gonna lay out all of the candles that I own on my bed and just show you guys a general overview of all of them and we'll go in detail. So I've laid them out all on my bed. It's honestly not as many as I thought, so that's a good thing. Um, but we'll start at the bottom with the single wicks. So I have eight Bath & Body Works single wicks. We have Autumn, Eucalyptus Rain, Champagne Toast, Eucalyptus Mint, Tis the Season, Frosted Cranberry, Peppermint Marshmallow, and Pumpkin Spice Latte. And then I've got two of these random Glade candles that I picked up at like Big Lots, I think, for $2.50. This is Sultry Amber Rhythm and Warm Cashmere, or sorry, Warm Flannel Embrace. These kind of just smell like super manly and like fall. So um, if I ever want like a super fresh manly scent, then I'll do these. Um, I've got two DW Homes candles. I really love their this candle brand. Um, I usually find them at like Home Goods or Hob not Hobby Lobby, Home Goods or TJ Maxx or uh, Marshalls. I have Christmas Morning. It's this literally giant three wick. It's huge. It just smells like um, like coffee. And then peppermint bark, which also smells super super good. This is just a single wick. And then moving on, we've got all of these three wigs from Bath & Body Works. I tried to do like Christmas and then fall and then like summery-ish. Um, so we'll start down here. I've got Vanilla Bean Marshmallow, Chocolate Grams, Sugared Snickerdoodle, Peppermint Sugar Cookie, Snowflakes and Citrus, Vanilla Bean Noel, Merry Cookie. And then we'll go this way actually. The Perfect Christmas, Butter Rum Eggnog, Salted Caramel, Gingerbread Marshmallow, Cinnamon Caramel Swirl from last year, and Spiced Gingerbread from last year. And then we have Blessed Pumpkin Pecan Waffles from last year as well. And then moving on, this is the Fall Candles. I have Pumpkin Donut Shop, which really, it came out in the fall, but it's not a fall candle at all. Um, cinnamon Irish Cream, Champagne Apple and Honey. I have Leaves from last year. 
or maybe two years ago actually let's let's take a peek um from 2019 maybe yeah it has a nine on it from 2019 so yeah last year well yeah last year <laughs> um hot cocoa and scream and then i have white caramel cold brew from last year's spring line pomegranate lemonade i got this one at candle day berry waffle cone that i also got at candle day and same with the strawberry pound cake in the marbled packaging so that's everything for bath and body works and then i have a few goose creek and then some other random ones so i have this three wick goose creek in let's stay home this one is fried apple sugar and then i have the large jar and pumpkin pie toasty pumpkin toddy and white icing cinnamon roll this is the same one that was um, up here on my nightstand and then two randoms um, i have this uh, yankee candle home classics in vanilla chai i got it for 9.99 at tj maxx this one actually performs pretty well i feel like this is more of like a fall-ish scent and then this one from our own candle company in tropical paradise i got this off of amazon I hate this scent, but I'm kind of like forcing myself to finish it. So, yep, that is all of my candles. So, kind of a lot for me because I usually only go through maybe one or two a month. So, it'll be hard for me to, you know, get through all of these in time for, let's say, like next fall or even just like SAS. So, I'm really hoping that I can dwindle this collection down. So I have eight single wicks and 34 of all of these other candles for a total of 42, which is not a lot to some people, a lot to other people. For me, it's a lot. Um, but like I said, I do have a few of these unburned that I might do exchanges. So one of those is snowflakes and citrus. Um, let's see if I can name the other ones. Gingerbread marshmallow. Um... And then I also have these single wicks, eucalyptus rain, and champagne toast that I haven't burned. Um, and actually frosted cranberry and tis the season. I think I might have burned tis the season once, but not frosted cranberry. So I have a few that I can exchange if I want to get like spring slash summer candles. But I really don't like spring and summer scents. Um, like I have pomegranate lemonade, which is just like a fresh and fruity. And I'll go for a fresh and fruity every now and then. But my main forte is bakery scents. So I love me a good, you know, vanilla or a good like donut, a good cinnamon roll. Like I love bakery and I could burn bakery any time of year and it really doesn't matter to me. Um, same thing with like caramel scents. I, I really could go for those any time of year. So I don't need specifically like uh, summery candles. I don't like coconut smelling things either. So most of the summer candles I won't like anyways, but I figured these will be like a good break from all the bakery to do some kind of like super fruity fresh. And then these two are actually bakery too though. So can't say that, but anyways, that is all of the overview of all of my candles. So that is everything for my candle collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little long and rambly, but I hope that you enjoyed it anyways. And if you did, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!